I'm currently presenting my long exam in science, technology, and society. So, why is it important to study the history of science and technology? It's important to study history of science and technology since it permits you to have a brief look into both the historical backdrop of the world and into exactly how we found all that we think about the world. Those snapshots of disclosure may appear to be against climatic to us currently, yet envision, envision not having found them by any stretch of, of the imagination. Envision living without the information. And furthermore, with the goal that we know how the machines we have today advance from less difficult machines. Three among the Filipino scientists and investors and discuss their profession and his her significant contribution. So my first choice is Paolo Campos. Paolo C. Campos was a Filipino physician and educator noted for his promotion of wider community healthcare and his achievements in the field of nuclear medicine, for which he was dubbed as the father of nuclear medicine in the Philippines. Dr. Campos is credited for establishing the first and best known radiostope laboratory in the country, the first research laboratory in the Department of Medicine. University of the Philippines and the Tyro Clinic of UPPGH. So my second choice is Angel Alcala. Angel C. Alcala, ONS, is a Filipino biologist who was named a National Scientist of the Philippines in 2014. Alcala is known for his fieldwork to build sanctuaries and to promote biodiversity in the aquatic ecosystem of the Philippines. Angel Alcala is considered a world-class authority in ecology and biogeography of amphibians and reptiles and is behind the inv invention of artificial coral reef to be used for fisheries in Southeast Asia. Angel Alcala is the director of the Angelo King Center for Research and Environment Management. So my third choice is Ricardo Sigua. Ricardo G. Sigua is a professor at the College of Engineering of the University of the Philippines, Diliman, teaching transportation engineering subjects in both undergraduate and graduate programs of the Civil Engineering Department. Ricardo Sigua, director of the UP Institute of Civil Engineer, was recognized as a, one of the promoters and motivators of walkable and bikeable communities across the country in the Bayanian Sadaan Awards held in Malacanang Palace on January 29, 2016. So this is my personal consumption audit. So first is watching Netflix. Um, I have in average daily, weekly, or monthly amount consumed is uh, six hours a day, and the number of hours or day I reduce or do away with is four hours a day now. By reducing the hours of watching watching series and movies, I can actually do exercise and do some assignments. So second, buying things online. Average daily, weekly, or monthly amount of consume is once, uh, once every four months. And the number of hours day I reduce, do away with, is once a year. By changing the amount of months on buying things online is I can sh save a lot of money and use it for investment. And third, drinking with soft drinks is every day. And Number of hours that day I reduce is once a month. By minimizing the amount of days on drinking soft drinks is I can prevent on having a sickness. So, sleeping late at night. The average daily, weekly, or monthly amount of consume is every day. The number of hours day I reduce or do I weigh with once a week. 
By reducing the number of days on sleeping late at nights, is I can prevent my health on having a heart disease or heart problems. So lastly, using gadgets. In average daily, weekly, or monthly amount consumed is 8 hours a day. And number of hours a day I reduce, do away with, is 6 hours a day. By minimiz minimizing the number of hours on using gadget is I can spend on doing house chores and having socializing with my family. So answer the following survey, put a check mark on your agree or disagree level. So in technology is a means to end. So I put it a uh, one because it can there therefore be called the instrumental and, and anthropological definition of technology. Second, techno technology is a human activity. I put it on three because it obtained and modified the human activities. Third, poetry is technology. I also put three because I think poetry is forming ideas or things which is leads to like a technology. Nature is a standing reserve. I put two because which is turn we take as a resource for further use and so emit interminably. Man is an instrument of explosion of nature. I put it one because I am totally agree to this because we have responsibility and ideas on how exploiting the nature. Um, six is man is in danger of being swallowed by the technology. I put three is because a lot of people are always using gadgets. They had tend to focusing on making technologies for a better even though it can harm people. So for the seventh is there is saving power of or a way out of danger of technology is I put I put four because maybe because a lot of people are relying on technology. So the la lastly, art may be the saving, may be the saving power. I put two because I agree. I agree because some of the tele technology works is can also do work in traditional. So how did the class lecture about biodiversity and climate change affect your personal beliefs and action toward protecting the environment? Explain. For me on how how the class lecture about biodiversity and climate change affect my personal beliefs and actions toward protect the environment is by having mindfulness on happens to our ten tendency. Since these days, we, we individual we tend to fail to remember our temper, temperaments in earth, which leads into debacles. And furthermore, it influenced me more since we are living in the world that is the reason we should, we should ensure it. So that's all. Thank you.